I love these kind of videos. Can you do the Target beauty section next? You ask and I'm answering. This video is for all of my budget baddies. You've joined me on makeup shopping trips to Sephora and Ulta. However, today we're switching it up and heading to the happiest place on earth. You guessed it, Target. So come shopping with me yet again to find the best makeup products you can get at the drugstore. And make sure to stick around until the end for a shopping haul. We have made it to Target. I just finished my iced coffee from Duncan. They probably made one of the best coffees I've had in a really long time. It was like a 10 out of 10. I do have a $50 budget. I have an idea of what I think I might be purchasing at Target. I'm just hoping that they have it because usually when I go to this Target, things are kind of a hot mess or they're sold out of everything. So we will see. I'm gonna show you what I want to buy at Target, but I'll also show you what I would recommend that I've already purchased in the past. Before Target, I did stop by Sephora in the mall so I can pick up some new makeup to review. I also wanted to warn you that this Target is not very pretty. It's not organized or stocked at all. So if messes scare you, this is your warning. But feel free to subscribe because I will be going Target shopping again in the future. I was really surprised to see them have some of the new e.l.f. makeup in stock, especially at this Target because it's so picked over. And as you can see, the display was a bit of a disaster. And of course, someone decided it was a good idea to open the box in the store, but you know, at least they didn't steal it. There's so much talk about the Sephora kids, but are we forgetting about the Target theft because it's kind of insane lately. Anyways, my number one foundation is the Maybelline Fit Me. If you watch my videos, you are the real one and you already know. It is so good that I finished an entire bottle and I'm going to repurchase this today for $7.49. I really want to try this Neutrogena CC cream for $14.99 but I have no idea what my shade is and I don't have the budget to buy multiple shades so I think I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research at home before buying. Let me know if you tried it before. And the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer is hands down still my number one most recommended bronzer for $13.49. This Butter Bronzer Contour Palette, however, is so underrated. The formula is still the same as the Butter Bronzer, but it's more of a matte texture and you get three different shades for $13.99. I hopped over to the Milani section because I'm looking for the viral Milani matte lipsticks, but as you can tell, the display was completely empty. All that was left left are bare bones random products here and there. It wasn't a complete fail though because I spotted on the corner of my little eye one more Luminosa blush fully intact for $10.99. I have been dying to try this for the longest time so I made sure to put that in my cart. And do not sleep on these Essence blushes for $3.99. It's the cheapest high quality blush I've ever found. The CoverGirl Yummy Glosses are always sold out everywhere I go. Even at this Target, they only had two more left. For $8.99, you'll get a super juicy and not sticky at all gloss. They kind of remind me of a lip oil texture. Would highly recommend. I'm always really excited to see ColourPop in stores, even if the displays look a little chaotic like this one. Their Super Shock Ritz Eyeshadow is a shade alternative to Urban Decay's Space Cowboy, and it retails for $7. If you want a pigmented eyeshadow, the ColourPop 9 pans for $14 are the way to go. And the ColourPop highlighters are even on sale for $6.30. I've never tried them, but I bet they're beautiful. I used to love the ColourPop Hydrating Foundation. It gives you the healthiest glow, and they're on sale for $8 at my Target. And of course, it looks like this box was already opened. I've also heard some amazing things about their matte bronzer and they retail for $12. Next up is L'Oreal, one of the most pricey drugstore brands, but they have some of the best products in my opinion. But do y'all see this? This has been opened. This Target does not fail apparently, it just gets worse and worse. It looks like the testers at Sephora, but the catch is there are no testers at Target. But on a brighter note, they finally have the Lumi Lotion in stock. Every time I look for these, they never have the shade Medium available. So yes, I added it to my cart right away and made sure I didn't grab an open one. I also really wanted to try the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundations on sale for $8.39, but the shades look so orange in the medium tones, it felt a bit risky to buy something that I didn't know the right shade. So let me know if you have suggestions. And if you're still watching, you are the absolute best. Below up the comment section with some heart emojis to share the love. Thank you, thank you so much for all of your support. And if you're looking for a mascara that lengthens, separates, doesn't clump together, isn't super wet and holds a curl, I would highly recommend the L'Oreal Butterfly Mascara. Originally $8.99, but today it was on sale for a whopping 
being $6, which I was so excited about because I needed to restock on it. And if you have textured skin or large pores that you wanna blur, I highly recommend the e.l.f. Boreless Putty Primer for $10. Specifically, the liquid one is superior in my opinion. e.l.f. also has a really great moisturizer for $13. If you want a good old basic face cream, I would really recommend this one. And for $7, e.l.f. has an amazing underrated powder blush that reminds me a lot of the MAC Cosmetic Powder blushes, and the shades are great for medium to tan skin. The $9 e.l.f. O Face lipsticks have been viral all over TikTok, and they just look so satin, creamy, and pigmented, so I think I'm gonna pick one up. And keep on watching until the end to find out what I bought for $50. I also took a little browse through their chaotic sales section, and they have this adorable elf sponge set. Not gonna lie, I kind of wish I did pick it up because I am a sucker for pink. Another hidden gem is the CoverGirl True Blend Concealer for $8.99. Here, it seems to be on sale. It's very similar to the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, but I feel like it's less cakey than that one. The NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer is $9.49. It's a super blendable creamy concealer that you can use as contour, highlight, or under your eyes. And this one is for my oily skin babes. The NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Mattifying Powder is my favorite powder for blotting. It retails for $9.49 and they even have a peach shade too. Now for my dry skin babes, if you prefer a super hydrating creamy concealer, the NYX Bear With Me Concealer for $10.99 is the one you want. NYX also has some of the best lip glosses at the drugstore. They come in so many different variations, but I highly recommend the butter glosses. They feel so smooth on the lips and retail for only $4.99. That is some real drugstore pricing right there. And if you don't mind a drier, more long-lasting lip liner formula, you can't go wrong with the NYX lip liner in the shade brown for $4.99. I always reach for this because it's literally the most perfect neutral nude brown. And I saved the best product for last, this is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen for $11.99. I use this every single day and it gives me the most natural brow hair-like strokes. I also restocked on some cotton pads because I really needed them, but let's go ahead and check out. So I just made it back from Target and I'm not gonna lie, I'm so freaking tired. That was not an enjoyable Target experience at all. Usually Target has this reputation where you like walk through and you enjoy your little Starbucks as you're walking through and you take your time. No, this Target is absolute chaos. You saw in the footage before, it was a hot mess. Everything was gone. I was looking for a Milani lipstick, couldn't find the Milani lipstick. There was like nothing left. And if there was anything left, I was lucky to find it, okay? Let me know if you have the same Target experience because I think this is the only Target in the area so that's why it's so freaking crazy and maybe I can go to another Target next time it's a little bit more enjoyable but it was not a fun experience but I did it for y'all okay. After tax I spent $54.98 and before tax it was $51.75 so I did go slightly over budget but nothing crazy so I got a packet of these cotton pads of $300. If I took these out I I would have been within the budget, but I was okay with spending a little bit more because I do need more cotton pads. I also got another one of my favorite mascaras. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Butterfly Waterproof Mascara. I rave and rave about this. If you like separated, fluttery eyelashes that are slightly lengthened, 10 out of 10. They also have a non-waterproof version. It was on sale for like $6 and mine's was drying out and I've had it for over three months. So I was happy to see this. I also repurchased the Maybelline Fit me in the shade 310. I've been trying to use the shade 312 because I ran out of the original shade that I usually use, but it just was not matching my winter color right now so i just ended up repurchasing this and again like it was one of those scenarios where i could not find it it looked like there was nothing left and now i'm looking at this and i'm like did i buy an opened one yeah that's a risk that is a risk i should have checked before but usually you can tell that it's been opened when it's just like all messy i really hope this isn't opened i finally finally got my hands on the l'oreal true match lumi lotion i got the medium glow shade this is always sold out at Target and Walmart specifically in this shade so I was really happy to see it 
available and I can't wait to try it out and use it. It looks like just like a nice little highlight kind of glow situation. Swatched, it doesn't look like it did anything, but I'm sure if I put it on my face, I'll see a little bit more of a difference, but it was kind of no pricey. L'Oreal is always pricey, but they have some of the best stuff. Then I got the e.l.f. O Face Satin Lipstick in the shade Hustle. Always a risk buying lipstick at the drugstore because you never know what it's going to look like, but this looks right up my alley because it's kind of like a burnt orange color, and I heard really good things about their satin lipsticks. And this was $9. So it's just a little swatchy swatchy. Ooh. This would also make a really good blush color. Yeah, this is right up my alley for sure. The last thing I got, which I was so close to being disappointed to not having, um, is the Milani Luminoso Baked Powder Blush. I have been eyeing this for a really long time, but I haven't really been into buying a lot of drugstore makeup, so I'll just kind of like put it to the side and forget about it. This year is the year that I tried the drugstore products that I've been eyeing, and I couldn't find it because if you saw the clip, the whole Milani area was just completely empty. I was so sad because I really wanted the Milani lipsticks and then I found this in the distance. Oh, that's pretty. That is really pretty actually. It just looks a little light, but it's very, very glowy. Ooh, that is really pretty. Okay. Right now I have in my hands five different products plus the cotton pads and this is almost a full face. And if Target wasn't so empty, I would have maybe ended up with more or I could have had a little bit more options when it came to lower priced items. But these are the items that I would have personally purchased. I didn't want to just go out of my way to purchase things just for the sake of the video so that you know that these are the ones that I like really was excited about. If you want to see a full face of drugs for makeup, let me know down in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up because I will definitely do one for you if you're interested. That is all for my crazy Target makeup shopping experience. I'm still recovering a little bit. I get really anxious when there's like so many people around and it was loud and I'm sure if you get overstimulated in the store you understand where I'm coming from because I'm just like... But thank you so much for watching and thank you to the person who requested this video. It wasn't my favorite one, but hopefully the next one is a little bit better. I really appreciate y'all for the love and support and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. As always, I'll catch you on the flip side.